In today's idea of the day, I'm going to do a hopefully a quick tutorial or an education, if nothing else, as to why iPhones run out of space and what to do about it. Um, this is something that I've helped quite a few people with over the years, and it never ceases to amaze me how uh, people who are otherwise panicked that they literally don't have enough room to take one extra photo. And I even had a neighbor who could not even, not only take an extra photo, but she couldn't even read email because there was no room for it to even load one more message. And try as much as she did, she could not free up the space on her phone. So I've done this to help so many people so far. I thought it'd be a great time for me to do a little quick video telling you the basics of why they run out of space and how to fix it. First and foremost, the thing that takes up most, the most space on any phone is always, not just sometimes, almost always photos and videos. And videos, obviously, more than photos because they are you know, talking about 30 frames or 40 frames or more per second. Photos and videos take up the most space. You need to optimize that. So a lot of people tell me, well, I already have the iCloud photo library turned on and all my photos are going in there, but I still run out of space. Well, I've done another video about this, but I never really talked about it in terms of a solution to a problem. But when you take a photo, yes, it goes to the Photos app. And if you have the iCloud photo uh, sharing turned on, it will actually, let's just say you shoot a 30 minute video. That would be a bit much, but let's say you shoot a 30 minute high def video. That would definitely eat up a good portion of almost every iPhone. But with iCloud photo sharing turned on and you paying for even a dollar a month for 200 gig, or whatever they give you, it might be 50 gig. Either way, they give you a lot. Your video, which is now massive, would then move to the cloud, and instead of it taking up, you know, many gigabytes of space, it'll actually only keep a thumbnail of it, which is almost no space. So the more videos you have in iCloud Photo Library, the more space you're going to have in photos. But that's not the only the only problem. Even when you have that turned on there are still people running out of space. And that's because the pictures and videos that are sent to them from the uh, messaging app are stored someplace outside of that. And they're not even aware of it. So if somebody sends you a video, two, three minutes of video, high definition, it's eating up a ton of space in your messaging app, which does not go into iCloud unless it's a backup. And it doesn't free up the space. So what you need to do whenever you get a video, especially sent to you through a text, is take that video. And uh, I can show some screens of that. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do step by step through here, and then I'm gonna put pictures along with it. So you go to your messaging app. You go to a person who sent you something. You go to where it says details. And then as you get to details, you scroll up and you will see every picture that that person has ever sent you, all in one place. Hover over it, tap down, and look for the words that say more. After more, you'll have an option there that says save image. Now what you can also do is instead of just doing them one by one, you could do that, hold down the more, and then at that point you can actually select individual pictures. You could just tap, 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 select dozens or hundreds of them. Select all those pictures, choose the option that says save image. And what save image means is it moves them to the photos app where they go into iCloud and they become minimized. Once they're saved, you can then have them all selected again and hit the delete. That removes them from the messaging app, which does take up space and does not get optimized, and moves them to the Photos app, where they will be optimized. And you will suddenly find that your, your uh, phone is going to have a lot of space. Now, this can only happen if you also change one other setting. And I'm going to talk about that now and show you in the screenshot what it should look like. There is an option that specifically says to optimize your iPhone storage. Make sure you have that option checked because when you use that option, instead of storing the original versions of all the files, videos or photos, it will always store a phone optimized smaller version on your phone and keep the originals in the cloud, which means that for those times when you want to see those videos, you will have to wait for them to download, but it will save you drastic amounts of space. And as long as you have Wi-Fi around, it's not such a bad thing. So uh, I'm going to put some pictures in. Hopefully you've seen them as I'm talking about this, but that's today's idea of the day, how to free up space on your iPhone. So, hey, thanks for watching. I don't really need any subscribers, but it would really be nice if you hit the subscribe button and shared this with your friends and told everybody how nice it is to be here and how there's lots of nice ideas every day. That would be nice.
I don't need subscribers or anything like that. All I need is maybe this chair. And that's it, nothing else. Except maybe this paddle ball game, the remote control, the ashtray, and the lamp. But that's it, I don't need anything else. Thanks.